In this video, you'll be introduced to Fluent's Materials Processing Workspace, a workspace designed for setting up and solving flow simulations such as extrusion, flow molding, and so on. The workspace provides the capability of modeling non-Newtonian fluids through a wide range of generalized Newtonian models, simplified viscoelastic models, and full differential viscoelastic models. The workspace is available as a beta feature in the Fluent Launcher when using the Enterprise Licensing. Select the Show Beta Launcher Options checkbox. Select the Materials Processing Workspace and click Start to open the workspace. The workspace is designed to be similar to the standard Fluent interface. It contains a ribbon, a graphics window, property pages, and an outline view. The ribbon acts as a horizontal workflow that guides you through setting up, solving, and post-processing a simulation. Its categories match those of the outline view. The outline view acts as a vertical workflow guiding you along the primary components of your simulation. Icons provide guidance as to the status and validity of your simulation settings. Green check marks means there are no problems with that component. Red X's indicate that there are missing or incorrect inputs in those areas that should be visited. For a selected item in the outline view, you can access and edit corresponding settings and parameters in a separate window. Also, note how parts of the outline view become collapsed based on which category you are in within the ribbon. Just as in Fluent, you have an area to set up the components of your simulation problem, an area to specify solution-related settings and properties and where you can perform your calculations, and an area to set up and explore your results. When it comes to getting started with the workspace, you have some flexibility. You can manually step through the outline view or the ribbon and set up your simulation, adding and removing and editing objects as you need based on your particular problem. You can create everything you need yourself from materials to mesh deformations, including models on cell zones and boundary conditions. Or you can use simulation templates accessible from the ribbon that are provided for common materials processing problems. A template is an initializer, creating a skeleton of a setup that you must complete. There are several templates, each devoted to a specific application in the field of internal flows, flow molding, extrusion, pressing, film casting, and so on. Using the templates based on your inputs, most required components are automatically added to the simulations for you. All you have to do is check the setup and perform the calculations. Finally, you can use simulation wizards, accessible from the ribbon as well. Wizards let you set up and solve a complete simulation with just a few key inputs and a mesh that must have a compatible topology with conventional names or zones and boundaries. The wizard does its best when the topology is not quite the expected one and is a good way to create a starting point. Based on your inputs, all required components are automatically added to the simulation setup for you. The solution is calculated and the results are ready to analyze in a few moments. The setup includes general simulation settings, material property settings, cell zone settings, boundary zone settings, and so on. Solution settings use reasonable defaults that will be adequate for most problems. This area is primarily used for checking the simulation setup and performing the calculations. When you have a complete solution, go to the results section to investigate the mesh, add contour plots, vector plots, and so on, just as you would in Fluent. The workspace also allows you to analyze time-dependent or transient results. This concludes this introduction to the Fluent Materials Processing Workspace. Thanks for watching.